Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Knock at the Cabin. Now, the only thing I know about this movie is that it has Dave Batista in it, and oh. it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, he's been a little hit or miss lately, so I'm just excited to uh, to see how this one goes. I've you heard a lot just say that because the last stories. M. Night Shyamalan movie we watched was Avatar. You all know our pain from that one, but you know what? I am coming to this not knowing a thing, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how this turns out. I know absolutely jack about this movie, except, as these gentlemen said, Big Dave Batista's in it, and I f unfortunately don't remember the actor's name. Uh, he was in Matrix as Mr. Anderson. Oh, he's in it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. That's all I know. Uh... Right. Well, with that boring intro, <laughs> let's go! Did you guys do that as a kid? Capture insects and put them in jars? The old, Just fireflies. The old pickle jar, yeah, fireflies. Are they with grasshoppers? Hi there. I'm not from around here, but I was hoping to make some new friends. Can I talk to you for a little bit? <laughs> no, creepy. <laughs> I don't talk to strangers. But I'm here to be your friend. So hopefully we won't be strangers for too long. What's your name? One line, but everyone calls me one. No oh boy. My name's Leonard. I call yeah. they, they just left all his tattoos. On. Yeah. Are you just a natural or did someone teach you how to catch grasshoppers? Daddy already taught me. I'm studying them. I'm going to take care of animals when I grow up. You call your dad by his first name? It's so they know who I'm talking to. There's Daddy Eric and Daddy Andrew. All the other kids at school only have one dad. All the Disney Channel shows only have one dad, too. <laughs> How old are you, when? I'll be eight in six days. Well, happy almost birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'm here to make friends with you. And your dad's. How'd you get that tiny little scar on your lip? My love was broken when I was born. My dad said it took a lot of doctors to fix it. Well, I don't have a scar like you. But if you could look inside, you'd see that my heart is broken. Why is it broken? Because of what I have to do today. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. You haven't done anything wrong. But I'm afraid the three of you are going to have to make some tough decisions. Your dads won't want to let us in. You have to tell them they must. Otherwise, we're going to have to find our own way in. Do you understand? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, wow. <laughs> I like how we're just dropped into this situation real quick, no yep. messing around. I will say I do like that. There there were four of them. The big one, his name's Leonard. He he says we had to help them. He says they have the most important job in the history of the world. Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> they have these weapons. <laughs> There's the knock at the cabin. I like how the uh, captions... Gave us yeah. specific seven <laughs> exactly. knocks on the door. Well, maybe there's a significance to seven. Hello, Leonard. We Is that Daddy Andrew or Daddy Eric? I met your delightful daughter one already. She's so thoughtful and kind. You two should be very proud. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, <crap. laughs> Who else is out there with you? I'm here with Sabrina, Adrian, and Redmond. The four of us are here because we're trying to save a whole bunch of people. We can't do anything without you. And speaking through a door is making a difficult conversation near impossible. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> oh, man. It's hard. It's hard. Not that door. We're coming in either way. The hell you are. I have a gun. You brought it here. Yes and no. It's in the safe in the back of the truck. <laughs> yes and no. Oh. I'm giving you one last chance to open the door. Man, that old door, you could probably pop that in a second with a crowbar, you know. Or, you know, you could just give it one kick and that yeah, door's done. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, see? Yeah. It's just a matter of time there. Oh, that's Rupert. Oh, look at him. This is going to be really cool to see him in a role yep. like this. So, I mean, honestly, I've only ever seen him in the Potter movies. Yeah. I always like to look at bookshelves to see what they put in there, if you can catch anything. There's got to be some books in there that have some kind some of relevance. Easter eggs, yeah. yeah. Let us know. One is in the back. One is downstairs. 
Let's make a run for it to the car. Oh, this isn't working. This isn't gonna work, is it? It didn't have to be like this. Get one out of here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh, he's out. Let me help him. Wait, wait, touch him. I'm a nurse. What? Wake up. Wake up, Eric. Oh, boy. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. Uh... Oh, nice camera. Oh, I right there. like that. Yeah. Very. Oh, <laughs> Ron's Uber. getting his head beat. <laughs> Oh, well, not for long. He's got back up. Andrew. That's enough. Well, where are we now? Who are these folks now? Oh, is this some kind of flashback? Uh, yeah. I like your fridge. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Must Thanks, just, Mom. Must have just told him. Yeah, maybe this is the first meeting. You guys catch that license plate? Is that New York or what is that? That's my mom asking how it's going. Well, you can tell you were wrong. <laughs> Andrew. Always together. Oh, oh no. That's usually a first sign of like someone's <laughs> going. So yeah. Scary. Try not to move. Oh, you I'm almost done. Sister, I have to finish this fucking city. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's in there. <laughs> They're fixing cleaning the and door. fixing yeah, it cleaning up. And fixing up. We have no choice. There's always a choice. He's right about that. Our choices make our destiny. I almost got that tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> Post-op nurse for almost five years. I use most of my savings to come out to Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. To talk with you guys. Now I'm confused. I have a little half sister back home, and when you kind of remind me of her. Like... See, Batista was checking his watch. Mm hmm. Well, he's, yeah, they mentioned that they're on a time schedule. Yeah. Well, I think you, you guys already know my name is Leonard. I'm good at catching grasshoppers, right, Wayne? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm from Chicago. I'm a second grade teacher. And I run the after school program. Second grade teacher. Jeez, I'm also a bartender. I'm also a bartender. <laughs> I'm Redmond. And I like long walks on the beach. And I like beer. Hey, deserve to know who we are. We wasted time for this guy to wake up. When you say stuff like that, you sound how you sound. You just scare them. You make it less likely to, to believe us or cooperate. I live in Medford. Massachusetts. I work for the gas company, making sure houses and apartments don't blow up. I'm single. If you can believe that. <laughs> I thought he had Hermione. <laughs> can someone put the curtain on the back door? You have a concussion. You're extremely sensitive to light. I'll see what I can do with the curtains. I'm Adrian. Before I got up here, I, I was a line cook. I love to feed people. It feels like it's more than food to me. Oh boy, <laughs> she, uh, I just got cannibal like uh, vibes. Yeah. The menu. <laughs> Sorry, Wen. Maybe I'll put it back on later. Okay. Forget the curtains. It's time. Time for what? Yeah, that's what I was just gonna ask. The four of us are here to prevent the apocalypse. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. When I say we, I mean everyone in this cabin can stop it from happening, but only with your help. Ultimately, whether the world ends or not. It's completely up to you three. I love how we just jump right into it. You are having a psychological break of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you in order to prevent the apocalypse. What? <sighs> After you make what I know is an impossible decision, you must then kill the one you choose. What? If you fail to choose, or if you fail to follow through with the sacrifice, the world will end. You three will live. The rest of humanity, seven billion plus, will perish. Yeah, well, how is this? See ya. Happening. You haven't done anything wrong. I agree with you. You haven't. Why is it just those three? That's what I'm trying. Yeah. 
You're just the family chosen to decide for us in this time. How did these four come together? Yeah. I mean, are we going to get a backstory on that? Yeah. I feel like that's kind of... Uh, I'm I'm hoping they come through and tell us. You have to understand that we cannot and will not choose who is to be sacrificed for you. And just as importantly, we cannot act for you. Wow. (laughs) What? We're not choosing anyone. We're not sacrificing anyone. Not now. Not ever. They're never going to choose to do this. You need to listen to this part, too. I've been shown exactly what will happen if you choose not to make a sacrifice. We've all been shown. We couldn't How? stop drawing the visions we saw. Oh, that's from earlier. Something was wrong with me. But the visions were so strong, so specific, and so, so real. She was Just eyeing that up hard. They yeah. had the visions, too. So that led us to each other. And Well, there you go. There's your backstory. A lot of First, the cities will drown. Then a terrible plague will descend, and people will writhe with fever, and mucus will fill their lungs. This is psychotic. Did you try to get help? Let us go, and we'll get you help. And God's fingers will scorch the earth, and an everlasting darkness will descend over humanity. You need help. This is going to happen, and we've been shown that only your sacrifice can stop it. Shown by who? By what? Yeah, something yeah. just. You sound like every fake dooms there on every corner of every oh, city. That's and... solid point. Yeah. <laughs> that is solid. <laughs> Dreams can have many different meanings. Our part in your visions is kind of vague, like it was random. For every no you give us, we will unleash a plague for the sins of humanity. Will you make a choice? Same. I'd be doing the same, man. Yeah, I mean. A couple of randos just coming in, spewing that. Yeah, saying, hey, this is what you have to do. They already told him that they can't make them. Yeah. Or they can't do it. You don't need to do this. You don't need those things. You said you couldn't hurt us. Yeah. Oh, they said they couldn't take them out, right? Well, they can't make the choice for them. Right. And they can't. Oh, well, they got, they I guess they will. They, then they couldn't, like, torture them or something. Well, let's think about this. You can only do so much torturing, right? Before you end yeah. up meeting Mr. Mayhem. <laughs> Please, God. Just let us go. He bust out his wand. <laughs> No. Is he putting on a hairnet? Something gonna happen to him. I'm scared. Keep looking at me, okay? Don't you fucking look away from me. Uh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> no. Is he gonna take himself out? I don't think he is. There's the sun coming No, what, what is, is Dave doing? On? They're gonna sacrifice one of their own? What, what would that... What would that prove? A part of humanity has been judged. This isn't real. This isn't real. Whoa! Whoa! We had a bunch of them in his head. (laughs) Well, they weren't Ron. He was doing such a good job. Wow, that was quick. Acting, acting. No, oh. I don't understand. Well, I guess I don't understand any of this. So why am I even asking? Mr. and Mrs. Brooks? Yes. My wife couldn't be here today. This is her brother. Oh, so they lied. Yeah, they did. There she, there is. she is. Oh, yep. Hi, hi, Daddy. Hi, Ben. Hey. Okay. <laughs> You help me out here, Adrian. Hey, yeah. What? Help me take Redman outside. So, did yeah, they he, like talk this out? Like, I, hey, if they say they no, know, and yeah, go it's kind of interesting. They're going. Well, no, he's he's definitely red now. Red <laughs> forever will be red. <laughs> That's what I was oh thinking. My God, <laughs> he took one or several <laughs> for the team. <laughs> Only assuming Walking Dead with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yep, Negan himself. Yep. So I think I remember you saying that a time or two before. I'm so confused by what's going on, but the acting has been just incredible. When I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to change the channel for a little bit, okay? Go fuck yourself, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> hey, there he is. I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the... We continue with our coverage of the earthquake centered in the Aleutian Islands, which struck more than four hours oh, ago. 8.5? So... That is, uh, that's, that's a decent. 
Canada and more than a thousand miles of coast along the American Pacific Northwest, including the cities of Seattle and Portland. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center issued its strongest warning to the islands of Hawaii. Is this what we're supposed to see? I explained to you what would happen as a result of you not choosing. A plague will be released by Redmond's death. Now, as you can tell from our live feed, this resort on Kauai has already been evacuated. Our early warning detection systems gave plenty of time to evacuate the coasts and low-laying areas of the affected Hawaiian Islands. Okay. I don't understand this is Sabrina. Just keep watching until we see what was shown to us. See what was shown to us? You mean there's more? Mm, must be. A second massive earthquake has struck in the Pacific, registering 8.6. Oh, yep, they keep hitting. Epicenter is only 70 miles off the coast of Oregon in what's called the Cascadia subduction zone that scientists have long feared would produce a catastrophic earthquake. Unbelievable. Oh, there it is. A tsunami triggered by a quake of this magnitude and proximity to the shoreline will be massive. 50 foot high bluffs along the coast are not going to be safe. Wow. 50 feet. Holy crap. This is what I saw. The same jutting rocks. Me too. Look at that wave. Oh. Well, oh, that is wow. picking up. <laughs> those, um, are, those aren't mountains. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd say run, but I don't even think that's going to work. You'd run I mean, the guy in the red sweatshirt is like, I'm out of here. Yeah, at this point, running doesn't yeah, matter. This side, I, mean, I mean, I would still run. Yeah, you still get me wrong. Look how high it is compared oh, to those Oh, wow. Rocks. So that rock was... Yeah, kind of... Uh... When? Go to your room until I tell you to come out. She, in the last, like, 10 minutes, she's seen so much. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, granted, she didn't really see Redmond, but... Tomorrow morning, you can make the difficult... Selfless choice of sacrifice and save the world, or you can choose once again to let the clock move another minute closer to permanent midnight. You have to believe us. It doesn't matter if we believe your craziness. The answer is still the same. They've been focusing on him because if he believes well, him, he's gonna, Andrew's going to think, "Well, he's got a concussion. What is he? Yeah, what does he know right now?" He's starting to believe it. I just need a moment. Well, he's weighing the options because. Mm -hmm. He's probably thinking of family and friends, which is probably why we get these flashbacks. Well, this can't be too much of a flashback. He's wearing the same shirt. The Guardian's going to come in here or what? Uh, this wasn't in that one. Oh, wasn't it? Uh, this must be on their way up to the cabin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many grasshoppers did you catch? This one so far. Her name's Liz. Mm, you see any bears yet? Andrew, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> Cold. I love how in movies right like they always show like the perfect kid they never show you the real <laughs> stuff that happens with kids when you get On there vacation and, yeah it's just a disaster that first hour yeah it's nothing like this <laughs> yeah i always just jump in just fully clothed don't this you is the most unbelievable part of the movie <laughs> 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 she won't be awake she'll be waking from a slumber yeah. trying to wake her up and get her sh <laughs> truth is i haven't even been to church since my grandma forced me to go when i was little they, they better go up and down so it's like the good old cartoon yeah <laughs> and the vision started i didn't believe it at first either but you will gosh is it is it like a trickle effect of whoever they interact with it happens to them we were all wearing the same colors we saw in our visions that's when i knew i wasn't alone <laughs> and all of this is real you need to trust something more than you. You may not want to believe it, but we're all on the same side. I'm on my family's side. Uh, That's right. Family. 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 <laughs> you know, that first earthquake happened over four hours ago, right? Before they showed up here. Leonard's checked his watch a thousand times. They've been timing all of this. Oh, that's interesting. That is very oh. interesting. I don't want you to be spooked or anything. Do you think I believe them? No. With your head and all, I want to make sure you're thinking straight. I don't believe them. Are we getting a little mm, tension here? Yeah. Mm. Well, they didn't keep a very good eye on her, did they? No, they did not. <clears throat> no, they watched her clearly go into the... Where? Yeah, why would you go that way? <laughs> I know. I always wonder... <laughs> Eventually, she's just going to turn right into the other it, right? side. Oh, right. 
He's too they smart for that. Yep. Well, we were targeted. We've always been targeted. We. Oh. Mm, flashbacks. I knew I recognized him. Oh, you recognize Rupert? Redmond? Redmond is the guy from the bar. What? What? We all have the visions. This has to be exact. Everything has to be right. Didn't he tell us about this cabin on the message board first? And then we all had visions of a cabin? I don't know. No, we had the visions first. Oh, now they're getting tripped up. Maybe you'd sleep better. You'd see each other easier. You think I'm going to be able to sleep in that chair? At least kick it over and I'm lay on their back. I I guarantee their legs are asleep already. Oh, yeah. Their legs are jello. I can make you all kinds of breakfast burritos. Oh, that's my favorite. They say if you can make an egg great, you can do anything. No. <laughs> Who says that? Who I've says never that? Heard that in my life. <laughs> Two chefs over here. You're very polite. You're a good person. Jeez. <laughs> it's just a. Uh, it's the walking. We found each other online because we said we had the same visions. Remember what you did at Thanksgiving? And then we decided to meet on the boardwalk. <laughs> You're gonna do that if I nod. Okay, let's continue. I wonder what she did at Thanksgiving. Oh, we're about to find out. You have the opportunity to choose. I don't mean to rush you, but we're gonna ask for your decisions very fast now. I'm going to be straight up. Oh, she's next. I'm the next one to go. Oh. <laughs> what exactly did you guys see? Stop talking to him. He doesn't believe you. None of us believe you. We're not going to do what you want us to do. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> see ya. Let me talk to you. <laughs> he likes pancakes. <sighs> Very well. Oof, another one. Close your eyes. Cover your ears. This is like an odd game of Russian roulette. Uh. I guess, man, when you have a belief. Oh, he's almost out, though. Now oh, look at how beat up his hands are, yeah. though. That thing with like, you know, rope will never stay completely tight like that, you know? No, oh, he's trying. There, yeah. There's just no way. Buy your time. <laughs> Unfortunately, let her go. Oh, don't tip. Don't tip. Part of humanity has been judged. Oh. No. Oh, that's a lot of wow. stabbing. Wow. Like one wasn't enough, huh? You had to do like several. Uh-huh. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to die now. We've unleashed a second plague. Did you, Bullshit. though? <laughs> yeah, he's calling him out. Bring up put on the TV, please. Uh. All right, so what's it going to be this time? Earthquakes and tsunamis. We uh, are volcanoes. X9 virus. Virus? Oh, virus. Where'd you see a figure? In the light behind you. In the reflection in the mirror. When you were standing behind Redmond, right before you struck him. Eric. Yeah, there was that like the yellow light or whatever. Yeah, and then when they shut the door, I thought I saw something. Yeah, I remember something out in the woods. Mm -hmm. All of them knew this X Nine show would be on, and at what time? Andrew, this virus is going to spread everywhere. It's a fucking pre-programmed show. They knew this virus show would saying. be on at this time, just like they knew the Alaskan earthquake and the tsunami warning had already happened before they showed up here. I'm clear-headed now. You don't talk to him from now on. You talk to me. <laughs> Just like a oh. lawyer. <laughs> That's so well timed. Okay, okay, we're going to count down for five together. But we're not going to yell anymore, okay? When? Five. Four. Okay, let's try this again. When? <laughs> let's try this again. Four. When? Oh, boy. Three. Get away from me. Ah, uh, that oh. did not work no. on his plan. Well, his legs have uh -huh. been in that chair for ever. They probably can't even walk. I don't believe you. Yeah, good call. Don't you look at me. Don't, don't you look at me. Right? How can he even walk? No, I don't believe a word you say. Fuck you. 
what's he gonna see out here now? That was kind of a loud shut. <laughs> Andrew? He's just trying to get to the car. Oh boy. So he's got his piece. Oh boy. This is way too slow. Oh! oh I knew it! Oh! We have to make the decision to save the most lives. We have to help each other. We have to help each other. Hey. Oh, sand in the face. Uh, you, dude, dude, this, you gotta go. I know you're in pain, but oh, let some adrenaline oh, kick in. Needs, oh, is, dude, he, is she going to accidentally take him out with that pick? No, I don't think so. Hey. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Got to get the combo right. Come on. 8675309. Damn it. Oh, is it a is it it's finger? Fingered. It's, it's finger fingerprint. Yeah. Also, oh, because he's that fidgety, it won't just yeah, open. Yeah, must not be taking it. It's just right Oh, on the hand. <laughs> oh. Big Dave. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Please <laughs> stop. stop. Okay. Oh, he's, he's got to load it yet? She's right there. Just take your time. Okay, you only need one. She's going to do it. She can't she go. Oh, oh. She did it. Right in the side. Oh, oh that, I think that oh, one is. Okay. Oh, God, I think she's for? hitting rib. She oh, did he. Oh, oh, it was a warning shot? You're a horrible shot. <laughs> Crazy fucking bitch. No, I think. You drop that thing and back the fuck up. Okay. Okay. Yo, I think because of his job. Back the fuck up! It was just a warning shot. I don't think he missed. Stop. Stop. Look at him sell the leg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, believe you were chosen because your family's love for each other is so pure. I know you've been oh, through a lot. He's got the jump on him. Drop the weapon and move away from Erica. I'll show you I was chosen to put a bullet in your head. <laughs> Drop it now, Leonard, or I'll kill you. Drop it now. It's time for the next sacrifice. Huh? Are you willing to make a choice? You're crazy. I'm taking my family and I'm leaving. <sighs> Whoa. Oh. No. Whoa. Okay, so now what happens if they get taken out prematurely? Well, he said already it was time for the next sacrifice. Yeah. You have a temper. Uh, Not in a scary way, just... <laughs> it's there. You're uptight. Oh. You can suck the life Wait, out of any situation. Are talking on an argument here? Or? Hey, we said you have to qualify things. I'm sorry, you, you suck the life out of some situations. <laughs> Better. It's like the old couples therapy, yeah. you know? I just feel... I can't believe we're actually going to do oh, this. Oh, they want to make sure they're going to be good I have never, for one second of my life, ever doubted loving you. The kid will be watching that oh, every day. Is that... What? Is that what? Oh, is this the flashback? Is that Redmond? How is it you can say stuff like that? that That's got to be. It's the bar. You guys keep it down. Oh, we were being too loud? Well, there's that temper. Is that what it is? Get your drunk ass back to your seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just... Fuck you. A little confrontational uh, he is. Yeah, you know, when you're dealing with uh, people like that, they don't have you anything to do. provoke them. I wasn't provoking. Oh, oh snap. God, I almost missed it. Andrew, are you okay? Oh. Oh, my God, what the fuck? Oh, is that? That, that was him, 100%. 100% that was him. Why didn't they tease that pretty good they to did. make you double think it. on it? Yeah. All right, learn some boxing. He probably doesn't want that to ever happen oh. again. Um, pretty much good for any scenario. Carry home protection. Scrum, right? I'll take it. That seems like a good guy to sell it to. <laughs> yeah, he seems fine. <laughs> Are you willing to make a sacrifice? She's still breathing. Slightly. It looked like her leg was yeah, kind of twitching. Oh. It looks like I don't know. Humanity has been judged. Oh, jeez, oh. man. Oh. What's he got there? It's the Brett wallet. Oh, it's the wallet. They slashed our tires, but they must have come in a truck or a vehicle. We need to get to that vehicle. You're wrong about all of us. Now get in that bathroom, Leonard, and make no mistake. I will fucking kill you if I have to. 
So right now, I believe Dave like didn't know who it was. Yeah. But, I mean, he presents a really good <laughs> case. Very solid point. <laughs> yeah. You can tell I watched too much Walking Dead because in my head I'm like, don't take out the nurse, <laughs> which she's gone. Yeah. You're gonna come get us. Now, how many did he put in and how it, many did it, he use? It only looked like he put in two. Two or three. Yeah, it's oh, nurse. Yeah. I have to make sure he's in the bathroom. Leonard? If I open this door and I see you, I will shoot you. There's no way he fit through that. How did Big Dave get through Are that? You telling me, <laughs> he wouldn't get an arm through oh, that. He's hole. in the shower. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. He's, he's got to be out by now. Oh, is that behind What's that him? Behind him? No, that's one yet. Oh. Why are so you taking the long way? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, it's right looking? there. Just pull it back. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Oh, <laughs> this is going to get messy. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got him in the arm. arm. No one's going to do what you said. Flying images as we see yet another passenger aircraft. Plummet to the ground. Eric, what are you doing? Why did you Look turn it on? Whoa, just dropping Whoa. out of the sky. We have yet to receive death tolls or receive any statements from okay, the I'm airline. Keep an eye on the background and see if we see anything here. Breaking news. It's it's Australia. So, so it says tsunami power outages. Yep. Oh, it's going to take them out, isn't it? Yeah, the camera. This one's going to come right at him. Look, they're that. just nosediving yeah, they're like just falling. It's like uh, physics doesn't work anymore or something. The skies were falling, crashed to the earth like pieces of glass. And God's fingers will scorch the earth. And an everlasting darkness will descend over humanity. We now have confirmation of as many as 700 oh. airplanes. Wow. Some horrible, unexplainable coincidence. Or it has to be a trick. I have to believe that. You already don't believe that. Oh. I know when someone's lying. Eric. I hang around kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everyone come out onto the back deck now. You know, the sky looks a little different back there. Over his shoulder. When I'm gone, you only have minutes to stop everything. After that, it'll be too late. Will all the children die? When? I want you to take your music and your headphones and go to that treehouse that we climbed in. Put your music on until one of us comes to catch you. Do what Daddy says, okay? I think he believes it, and I think he's going to sacrifice himself and not give Ben the option. He he can't do it, though. They said that was one of the rules. You can't do it You yourself. can't opt out yourself. Maybe one of the kids I taught do something great for the war. What do you think? Please. My new friends, Eric, Andrew. Uh. Will you make a choice and save the world? All of humanity has been judged. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh look at the plane. plane! Yep. Oh, so now it's really yeah. Now it's right in their face. Okay, he said he got minutes. Yep. And Man, here the whole time I was thinking it was just some kind of like scamish. Yeah. But now see, look, look at the clouds. Look at everything's clouds everything's there. going dark. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, so oh, we got fire. There comes, got there comes a scorched. Yep. We still have a few minutes, he said. Eric, there was something in the light, a figure. And I feel it now. I believe you. Let the three of us leave. Oh, he's not uh, sold. Maybe I saw a figure. Maybe I just made it up. But it's giving me peace. My mind is set in its truth. I won't be scared. Whoa. You got to do it now. We're out of time, all of us. I don't believe in them, Eric. I do. Let's go back outside. Check one more time before just, we make this. Just to make sure. She's got her own practice. You're there with her. You guys are locking up her office because you guys are going to dinner. 
This is how the movie's gonna end. She found someone who loves her and who she loves just as much, just like her dad's. Could we not have checked outside just, just one more yeah. time? Maybe just to confirm. Did you hear it save everyone? Well, that's one way to put yeah. it. Yeah, you're dead. Still, it's still happening. Well, there's their truck with the keys in it. Did we stop it in time? Uh, it's not looking good, is it? There's a tighter over there. I think because of all the time that has gone by and all four of them, well, now five, are gone. Probably a lot has happened. Uh, if this is still really happening, the only thing we could do really was happening. climb out well. of the upstairs window onto the roof. But I'm still skeptical <laughs> on it. <all>. <laughs> this past hour is the first time in many, many hours that we haven't had a death in the ICU. Actually, we're coming up on our second hour here of no deaths. I know. Wow. Huh. I love you so much. Everything's going to be okay. The sudden lightning strikes that set fire to many areas have not returned. Though several fires have yet to be extinguished, and the damage to regions both rural and well. is extensive and remains to be determined. The worst conflagrations have, as of this moment. Oh, well, they can go through their stuff, see what they had. Oh, all the kids signed it. Nurse. Gosh. Well, they weren't lying about that. Nope. Oh, well, she did. Uh, she did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> oh, I didn't see uh, what Redmond, uh, Redmond yeah. had. Or O'Donnell. Yeah. Or Red O'Bannon, I'm sorry. Okay. Fed uh, Metro, Metro gas. gas. Yeah, just like he said. Oh, oh. <laughs> same song. Yeah, we, yeah, uh, we don't need that. Let's turn that off. Yeah, she's she's going to turn it back on. Well, the clouds are moving quite a bit in the reflection there. Tell you what, after going through that, <laughs> this is probably the last song I'd be. Yeah. <laughs> While well, they're thinking of their fallen. Yeah. Well, I I get it. That's the whole point of it. But and now oh, they get to see man. all that. All of it. With the rays of shun sunshine. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's well, and that's you think there's any post credits? Oh, yeah, I don't M. think M. Night Shyamalan yeah. is that his. Just, well, he does, he uh, just he, you know, Batista what? reappears uh, and like, I'm he, fine. He did that in the sixth sense, didn't he? Didn't he have a post credit? Not that I know of. Uh, I still got to see no, Sixth his Sense. Unbreakable spoilers, the Unbreakable series. There was, yeah, there's nothing okay. He had a post credit scene, I think, after Split. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, huh. that's the. M. Night Shyamalan that I remember. I think that's really his style. That's his groove. Kind of the uh, almost like Alfred Hitchcock like suspense, mystery, a little bit of horror. I, I think that's really M. Night Shyamalan's wheelhouse. And this one was cool because like I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like when a movie just jumps right in and throws me in the scenario with no explanation, not a lot of backstory, not, you know, like a buildup where you traditionally have steps one through five or acts one through three. I like how we we're just thrown into this one and we knew as much as the family involved in this situation yeah, pretty as far much. as what was going on. Like we were learning with them. Uh, so that was cool. The <laughs> acting was incredible in this. 
this has to be the most lines that Dave Batista's had in a movie. Well, and at least he, for a little while. You know, I mean, and he oh, yeah. he absolutely delivered this with the you only get more like lines the, in this than in uh, the James Bond movie. Inspector. <laughs> But you know the the way that uh, Batista delivers his lines with that real flat kind of mm-hmm. deadpan, like I mean that's his personality, like that's his thing, and and it really fits. I mean you don't know if he's super creepy or being very uh, like caring. It, it's it's the most bizarre thing I think ever. His character was probably the most confusing uh, to me as far as what were his motives. It was it was hard to tell. Um, it was great seeing Rupert Grint again. I thought he did an amazing Run. job in this all Ron Weasley. It was good to see him in something just completely different. I think I said before that uh, when we watched the menu, I really liked seeing Chris Evans as a jerk. And I, I just, I really like seeing actors who were used to seeing uh, as one thing. You mean uh, Glass Onion. Or Glass Onion, what did I say? Or the menu. The menu? Oh, <laughs> just totally blew that one. Glass Onion, you guys know. Uh, but no, I just well, really like seeing know. actors in different things than what we're used to. Uh, I always go back to seeing Robin Williams as like uh oh in photo booth in in, in one hour photo or one hour photo i'm sorry one hour photo but so again for my personal taste i love that sort of thing a very unique cast where Mm -hmm. they literally do look just thrown together like you went on the street and just grabbed a bunch of random people and threw them together uh at least in terms of who we would dub i guess the four horsemen in Mm -hmm. this um you know the thing that i wondered and i almost want to go back and watch this is does everything mean something you know they mentioned uh with they had the the images of like the clothing and stuff they were wearing so i found myself and maybe it's because of uh, Mid, uh bly manor and hill house yeah. but i find myself really paying a lot of attention to the background i don't know if it made the cut or not i mentioned uh to one of you i think uh to pay attention to the books on, on the bookshelf because every now and then they might throw something in there that that has a meaning and maybe there was and i didn't see it but i'm sure this has a ton of easter eggs um i would assume like the beginning yeah when it shows all the pictures and every all the drawings and everything yeah and they're going through well they showed that some of the weapons were on there and stuff like that but um you know the one i guess the one thing that really kind of caught me and this is almost an aside i think to what this movie is about is when um when eric and andrew were like in their apartment and the the parents were leaving you know unhappy or whatever the thing that kind of struck me is like look when i think a lot of people kind of forget when you have somebody you love and you're you're getting married or having a relationship or whatever uh it's it's important that it's now about the two of you it's not about making other people happy or what they might think i mean not to do it in a selfish way but i just really like uh kind of how and i don't remember if it was how it went but i just really liked how they were like hey it's it's us now Mm -hmm. They, they had that line about it's us now and i thought that was really powerful because you know, I think so often people worry about, you know, pleasing other people. It's like, hey, this is your relationship. This is your marriage, whatever it might be. It's about the two of you now, not outside uh, noise. So I, that was kind of a weird, like, left-hand turn yeah. that they took in an otherwise, you know, really creepy, classic M. Night Shyamalan movie. Um Yeah, I guess if I had to give it a rating, this one was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of questions. Maybe not as... um as uh rewarding as you know like the sixth sense he's always well, gonna be judged yeah, on. yeah, yeah that's yeah, like that's... you know legendary level and uh but still very good i will give this one a 3.8 out of five answers i thought it was really good um it didn't like i said it didn't hit quite as hard as some of his other works that he's done um and maybe uh, you know maybe it was just not seeing as much or something like that but oh damn the acting was good in this and the camera work was was outstanding as well and it had a really good score yep camera work cinematography was outstanding but then dave batista just crushed it he was amazing this when was also also amazing so was eric so was Andrew. they all did a great yeah. job doing their parts i mean it was great to see rupert oh <laughs> Seen him as a villain. I just huh? wanted Ron Weasley. That's all I wanted. I don't want him hitting someone over the head with a beer glass. That's that's not him. He uses but, a brick. Yeah, exactly. Or a or a rock, rock and then yeah. just turns around and goes, What do I do now? Okay. One of my favorite scenes, obviously, that everyone knows. But this was really thrilling. It kept you captivated. You were wondering after each time that one of them were sacrificed what was happening next and obviously we saw 
for we saw like plagues first we saw the earthquakes and the oceans rising and yep. the tsunamis then it was uh what was the second one i'm sorry oh a, a virus the third yeah, one just the, planes, planes just dropping. falling out of the sky just, and obviously the fourth one he said scorched earth yep. all the lightning all the fires so that was pretty cool to keep you captivated i i wish they <sighs> I just wanted, I wanted one movie that we watched that Dave actually survives to the end. <laughs> He's had a ruffle out there. Spe Spectre, he hasn't. Yeah. Uh, the uh, what was another one we watched uh, where they're fighting the zombies? Oh, the Army, Ar of, the Army of the Dead. Yeah. Army of the Dead. He also did not <laughs> survive. So I was, like hoping, Sean I, was, level. I was hoping. I was hoping just <laughs> no, one. Just one. Of course, no. I mean, yes, there's other ones, yeah. but. Uh, but uh, this was fun. It kept me intrigued. I go with a three and a half. Right. Um, if you can even kind of see it, because it was really thin. But three and a half. It kept me intrigued. But you know, obviously, like you said, you know, that's no six cents. But it's also no Avatar Airbender. Ah, good point. So you know, meet me halfway through with that. <laughs> meet me halfway. <laughs> so I think. So I think a three and a half is yeah. solid. Uh, we we saw the the, my fiance and I went and saw the new Knock in the Cabin with Dave Bautista and I mean I hated it hated it hated it I was like this is no oh, this is the crap Dave was good though and it seems like a that big Dave's good he, actually he was he would Dave Bautista was brilliant in that movie it was just everything anyhow <laughs> yeah this film was interesting I was kind of like uh, Ben's character throughout the whole thing in my head i'm thinking this this is bullshit no way <laughs> you know because well up into the second i mean i was i don't know if it made the cut maybe it did but i was saying can we just go outside one more time to just, see just if to everything's sure. going on because they did a good job of yeah. showing that plane and you were falling. the first one that yeah. saw pre-programmed weren't you weren't you the first yeah one i saw it? the pre-record yeah. and yeah, that you know that TV. in my head was like gets you going how did they yeah. get this set up on the tv you know there was a couple little things in there that i was just like skeptical on I'm like nah nah that can't be yeah. that just can't be they snuck in and put in a fire stick yeah <laughs> something uh but you know they they stayed true to what they were were doing which was you know hey we're not we're not making any choices for you we're not even going to touch you uh yeah. but we will harm each other to uh yeah. you know for the sacrifices which i think yeah. this movie was widely based around was uh sacrifice I'm seeing on the screen here that Knock at the Cabin was a book. So I'm actually interested for anyone who's made it this far. Have you read the book? What did How they close stay? The yeah. Did they did they stay close to canon? We'll say on that, or did they kind of take liberties from uh, you know here and there? And is the ending the same? Is the beginning the same? Is the middle the same? Act one, two, three is basically what I'm saying. So. I'm really intrigued to see the differences in the book versus the film. I thought the cast did phenomenal uh, with everything they were given. Uh, Big Dave, you knocked it out of the park. Oh, did he ever? I'm gonna imagine have to, that. I kind of want to go back now and watch some interviews, see if Dave talks about like the process of how he was he handed this role. Did he have to audition? Yeah, it was the preparation. Know, yeah, perhaps too. little things like that because I thought he did great because. As we all know, typically in Hollywood, with a guy as big and tall as Dave, sometimes it's hard to get roles. I'm glad he was given this role because, again, all the actors did, and the cast and crew actually did pretty good too. I could tell there were some blur scenes that they were working with the green screen because they wanted some pieces to fit just right. So, of course, what do you do? Just give it a quick little blur and it'll blend in just nice. Uh, I thought that was actually pretty good. Um, was it someone helped me out here and maybe i missed the movie because my brain was going like five different ways trying to wrap my head around some of this stuff really you but, don't say i think that was all of us and yeah. even you at home watching. yeah <laughs> but with with this was it just specifically the cabin Th that's that's what yeah. i is that what they were seeing that right well, like it was it was that <laughs> it was cabin vision. and that family was chosen no they said that, well they, well they didn't know why they were chosen yeah but it was just yeah the cabin that yeah. they just happened to yeah see but, like oh no you're right yeah because when when redmond came in he said we didn't know who we were gonna find i believe he said yeah help me out in the comments he, but i think he said i'm pretty sure he said that too so that's why in my head i'm like well it had to be the people but you know they're saying this about the cabin mm -hmm. so again I created a lot of self-doubt for me, so again, yeah. some of the dialogue, I'll have to go yeah. back and I'll have to probably rewatch this one, because I think this yeah. one, if you didn't like it the first time, you're probably not going to watch it ever again, but if you're still somewhat intrigued, intrigued, I feel like maybe a second watch is worth it, because now that you made it through, you'll probably catch some things 
that you didn't mm -hmm. really pay attention to the first time that will help probably make the experience a little better real quick did you like how the ending where they showed that they actually were who they all said they were so that yeah. was actually what i thought was uh intriguing too because again with like i said i was she I was didn't skeptical. have a daughter she yeah. didn't there, <laughs> there was didn't no have a son. way she, she had, had, had a kid or whatever yeah, i can't then, remember exactly what it yeah i would no i i was actually pleasantly surprised to nice see touch. it was all that and i was kind of conflicted because i was i think i said to you during the reaction maybe that you know i feel like i've watched too much walking dead because it's like any <laughs> kind of nurse or doctor so they're you know, out of here you know need to keep them but either way if they didn't sacrifice one another yeah. it, it didn't matter anyway yeah. so i don't know what you guys think about that no, I, I liked the reveal at the end. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't it, w it wasn't overly uh, shocking because, you know, the first half of it, I think you could maybe be like, okay, are they just crazy? Is it some kind of doomsday cult that they're a part yep. of or whatever? But I think the more you started to see the news stories, and especially once things kind of just started to trickle in a little bit, you started to see um, a little bit of doubt on our characters, uh, you know, faces and expressions. Because they did a good job of that with camera shots and showing faces and making you wonder what they're thinking. Uh, so I thought that was a nice review. What I liked is like how uh, Andrew was given the point is like, that happened four hours ago. And yeah. then the pre program to just throw the doubt in our minds, yep. which, you know, anybody watching. Unless they read the book and knew whatever, yeah. you know, however close it was, it just it puts that little, just that little nugget of doubt, like, oh, what are they? Is it like Doomsday Preppers just gone rogue? Yeah. You know, what yeah. is it about this? But, you know, I, I was rather intrigued by that. Yeah, it was interesting. Oh, yeah, so for my score, oh, look at that. I think for now, <laughs> so I do, Pending. I do. You should put an asterisk by it. Catch them in one week. <laughs> you know, I think for now, well, I'll just put it right there. there I'll give go. it a three because, uh, yeah. again, I'm kind of conflicted still. I'm still well, processing. And, I mean, did it do its job of entertaining me? Yes, it mm -hmm. did. Uh, but for me to fully, like, get a <coughs> like a good wraparound of 100% of it, I, I feel like I need to watch this one again. And maybe it'll improve the score or keep it or maybe even <laughs> decline yeah, it after, decline. after I see some stuff. So yeah. Well, I mean, we're basically right in line with what the uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score is. Yeah, they said 67%. So pretty much there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Sometimes so, you can't believe yeah. that stuff. But this but. is, <clears throat> I, I will, to reiterate, this is M. Night Shyamalan's bread and butter. This is what he needs to do. I think we can all agree. Where you, where you keep them guessing every yeah, five seconds. Things and in not the take background, a beloved, animated shots. series, and ruin it. Well, you guys have been mentioning Sixth Sense he did. I have not seen you, that. Oh, and I, I only Diamond know. Dave would love it. No, I think we do have that on the list for, oh, because nice. I need to see it, because I hear a lot of people talk about it. <laughs> um, the only thing I really know, and maybe some of you be like, you, you schmuck. The only thing I really know him <laughs> from is uh, being on Entourage. Oh, really? he, he's obviously himself in there. Oh, he nice. makes a couple appearances with Ari Gold. And so you haven't that's seen kind of Unbreakable I Split or Mr. Glass? Well, I don't, I'm going to say no right now. Okay. Those titles don't I, ring I, a bell. I think, well, Unbreakable, <laughs> I think you'd like to you know, transfer into seeing James McAvoy doing a great job in Split. And then well, and I yeah. think Samuel L. Jackson is Mr. Glass. Yeah, well, a lot of people would be surprised at what classics I have not seen. So, but yeah, I. Yep. I, it's well, it's so funny. been classics for us yeah, that we haven't seen, and they've been knocking them out of the park. Yeah, so it, I'm just it, saying. And again, Rick, Rick, just before Andrew takes us home here, it's amazing. I used to think, that I'm, oh, I'm a movie guy. I've seen oh, a yeah. lot of movies. Yeah. You know, I, I can quote some lines from movies and whatnot. And then we started doing the channel, and we got all these recommendations. I'm like, I haven't seen any of these. My my favorite big surprise for you is 10 Things I Hate About You, how much you love oh, that, that was, one. That There's still then, then, then classics. Then hearing, I, I had already seen it, but then you two watched Love Actually that was and came out said how awesome it was i'm like all right you know i i would say it but i knew you guys would be like no that's a, not a movie for us i need to watch rambo for the 1300th time and for 1301 this weekend that's diamond dave that's mason quinn and i'm of course the answer good night pals